Welcome back, this is Josh from the Redneck Homestead Channel and we have the completed rocket stove project and we're going to go ahead and light this thing. It's going to be a very, very short video. We're just going to light this thing up and uh, we'll go from there. Split some kindling off of a just a piece of cordwood here. We filled the fuel chamber, the burn chamber, the top of the shelf with, I don't know, three or four or five pieces of kindling. And then we put some starter fuel down the smokestack itself. We have some newspaper. We're going to wind it all up and twist it all up and insert it into the chamber here, the air chamber, and light it up. It's going to be our kind of our ignition port, like on a gasifier, and that should get things going. So we'll take this thing outside and light her up. Set the rocket stove up on the tailgate of my truck. We've got our map gas torch here and five gallons of diesel if we can't get it going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We should be able to get this thing going with a torch, that's for sure. Alright, let's see. Flame's not all the way in there yet, but it's getting there. You can see that flame getting sucked in there, which is kind of cool. I think it should start burning really well in just a minute. Oh yeah, it's igniting the fuel. I can see it. The fire is starting. We got smoke out of the chimney and everything. My goodness. This isn't rocket science, it's rocket stoves, as I heard one guy on YouTube put it. Well put. This is just a prelude to our wood gasification project which is going to be not your traditional, typical wood gas project. We're going to be building a gasifier that's going to do a lot more than just power generators. And uh, I think we're going to spend some time in the shop designing and building at least a couple of prototypes before we get it dialed in. So it looks like we got this thing going. Um, it's not really kicking butt yet. It should be soon, though. difficult to see down this this chamber here what's going on but let me back up you can see it is definitely running it's running nicely actually and by the way I was just kidding about the di diesel fuel there's no diesel fuel in there This thing's moving. Oh yeah. It's definitely still lit. All right, I had to give it a little tiny bit of help. Some of the ash from the newspaper was getting stuck in the air chamber, and so there wasn't enough airflow coming through. But after I blew in there, it um, it stayed it stayed lit nicely. Now we've got a crazy flame. I'm afraid to put my camera directly above it. It's that it's that good. It's burning really really nicely now. We don't have a lot of fuel in there, but what we do have is burning. The flame is coming right off the top, and. Um, is going really well this is very nice my objective as I've mentioned many times is to be completely independent 100% independent of all public utilities all public systems I don't want any need for the natural gas company the electric company um, you know it's I've just learned so many lessons over the years about depending on these people and it all starts with energy independence and um, 
Actually, let me rewind. It actually starts with personal independence. You need to know who you are, and you need to know um, who you are in relationship to your creator. Once you know that, the sky's the limit. Well, that's all I have for you today, folks. I appreciate you taking the time to join us for this light-up of the first version of the rocket stove. And uh, if you haven't given us a thumbs up already, please do. And we'd also like to have you subscribe to the channel so you can get updates when we release new videos. All right, until the next video, thanks a lot and have a good one. All right, I got a couple of afterthoughts here. After the initial burn on the first version of the rocket stove, I came out with a really small pot of water to boil and our our burner stands were too too far apart so we decided to weld on these little um, pieces to make an X. Now we can put any size burner there. We can still fit our starter fuel down there no problem. Um, the unit burns really well. It's not perfect. It's just a rocket stove. It's, this is not a long-term a sustained burn stove by any means but I think it'd be kind of cool to leave it up at the off-grid cabin and just have another way to, to boil water, another way to light a really, really quick fire, and, uh, you know, something to keep keep in a, uh, in a closet or something. So um, we're going to keep this, this particular prototype. I've got some design changes that I want to make. I have an idea for <clears throat> a hopper-based system that will feed wood chunks, wood pellet, any sort of biomass fuel and uh, we'll land on a grate and we'll replace the need for um, for stick type fuel which really requires tons of attendance and um, so that's it that's the final takeaways from the first burn and uh, this thing's ready to go up north and just uh, hang out and get ready to make us some more coffee